What's up, everyone? Check out the Comic Outlaw on YouTube. Drop us a subscribe, like, or anything, man. Hit us up. And I'm so excited about this one, y'all. Fantastic Four, issue 12. At last, and I mean at last, you get to one-on-one -on -one time with the incredible Hulk. Yes, and this will start off a long feud between Thing and Hulk. But this is it right here. This is the first time. And we start off with Allison Masters and the Thing. They're kind of together now. Uh, she's the stepdaughter of Puppet Master, of course. And uh, she's kind of taking him to an opera. And Ben being Ben, you know, of course, says he likes jazz. He gets spotted in public. Some guy calls him a monster. You know, Thing decides to do something about it. The military shows up. And this is very interesting because they're actually using different weapons against him. These men are well trained. They're actually trained to take out supers. They fire this very interesting cannon at him that kind of ties him up, but things are able to break through as they start using gas. I mean, these are no ordinary, like, uh, mom and pop soldiers, you know. They came prepared. And so they kind of figure out they made a mistake. They figure out Thing is a member of the Fantastic Four because they're famous, but not super famous at this point. There's no internet at this time, so it travels by word of mouth. Allison stops him from basically wrecking the general. Thing comes back, has a little fit, you know, and they explain that it was the Hulk. These soldiers were sent to deal with the Hulk, and uh, that is Thaddeus Thunderbolt right there, Ross. The man that will become the Red Hulk. And he's basically explaining this, the soldiers didn't know what the Hulk looked like. They just knew that he had super strength. And he's actually there to recruit the Fantastic Four in order to take down the Green Monster. Now, apparently, the Hulk is to blame. Well, the Hulk gets blamed for many things. <laughs> you know, but uh, currently, I guess he's destroying or interfering with this uh, shield generator. And, of course, the thing is... Bragging how he could just grab him by the leg, take him out, beat him up. Uh, Johnny Storm joins in saying that he could keep him trapped in a wall of flame and the Hulk wouldn't know what to do with himself. You know, they're just basically, they've had a lot of wins lately. So they're feeling very cocky. Of course, Mr. Fantastic says that he can roll him up in a bowl. And Sue's like, I don't know what I can do. And this is before they gave Sue Storm kind of an upgrade well not really an upgrade but they they figured out how to use her powers like she can make an invisible shield inside someone's mind and they make it explode for example but anyways she's uh sh sitting with a uh, general ross and they're kind of having a bird's eye view looky loo checking out the ship you know getting to know the fantastic four and at last they meet dr banner and a few of his assistants you know <laughs> and of course, uh, one of the guys does piss Thing off, you know, because Thing hates waiting, you know, he hates, you know, just basically he has no patience at all, and he bashes into this meeting with Dr. Banner and Reed Richards, and it starts off just a little tiff between Ross and his uh, soldiers, and at this point, Banner is still with Ross's daughter, Betty, and he doesn't know that he's a Hulk, even though it's Ross's mission in life to destroy the Hulk. Whew. Okay, the thing comes in. He shows off his strength by destroying all his phone books. And that pisses Ross off because that was basically his internet that he smashed. Imagine your cell phone being smashed in front of you. That's the equivalent of what the thing just did. <laughs> and Torch is showing off, of course. And Banner's kind of explaining this. Not really, really a weapon, but a shield. It kind of generates an electrical like pulse outside of the city and it stops missiles and stuff before they even attack and for some reason it's being sabotaged the project's being sabotaged in every step and here the fantastic four is just kind of <laughs> i guess having a little fun experimenting with uh the it's kind of like a rocket you know the test g-force on the human body and since things a pilot of course he wanted to get in and give it a whirl but unfortunately, the thing was sabotaged, and thing goes flying out, of course. Johnny Storm tries to catch him. He's a little bit heavy. Reed has to uh, kind of do some of the heavy lifting, turns himself into a trampoline, and boing. 
So they're kind of trying to figure out where all the sabotage is coming from. And they're starting to point the finger at Banner. And Banner realizes that it's not him. And it's certainly not the Hulk. Because he is the Hulk. And then Hulk's the number one suspect. So he decides that it's time that he becomes the Hulk. And this is a very fascinating version of the Hulk. He's not the mindless brute that people come to know him as. He's actually... If you read, he has thoughts. He's not me, Hulk smash. He's thinking stuff through. It's like him and Banner are one almost. This sort of reminds me of a Joe Fix-It Hulk. And he's making quick work of the Fantastic Four. He got the drop-on thing, takes a shot at him, uh, puts Johnny up by throwing a bunch of dirt at him. He breaks his way out of the mine or the tunnels that they were in. Covers it down, but Mr. Fantastic slips through. And he kind of grabs him. And the rest of the Fantastic Four bust out, of course. Mr. Fantastic stretches around him like he's done with things so many times in these issues. And I want, I really want to say that. Because I, I mentioned that a lot. And Hulk just takes care of him. Spins him around and whoosh. And a storm comes to him and boom. The clap of his hands, it just knocks them all out. Thing comes out of nowhere, gives him a wallop. And yeah, Thing is strong. But he's not as big as the Hulk. And the Hulk just outclasses him. Not by much at this point. And he did kind of get the victory. But it was tainted because a robot took a shot at him. Matter of fact, it's the robot that's been doing all the sabotaging. And it was that little lab assistant there that was behind it. Not the Hulk. Not Banner. And of course the Fantastic Four take him down with ease. The Hulk leaps away you know basically his work is done he has to turn into dr banner in order to keep his identity and it's very interesting how him and the hulk are actually working together on this it really has shades of joe fix it the gray hulk but at any rate he turns back into banner they uh, apologize Reed and him say they, they would like to work again together and they end up doing that they have a little ceremony for the fantastic four you know, you got to take those pictures and sell those action figures, y'all. Hulk gives them a wave, good, wave goodbye. And as always, issue 12, and I will catch you on the flip side. Yeah.